Costco had this AirPod Max on sale for $450. That's $100 off the retail price. So I got a pair. But honestly, they didn't make me feel wow. Um, and um, one thing that really annoyed me uh, is that uh, I've been pushing, accidentally pushing on these buttons while putting them on. Uh, anyway, uh, so while I was debating whether to return them or not, I saw Bose um, put their 700 series also on sale. So yesterday I got them as well for 330 from Best Buy. Uh, the sound is my uh, number one concern. As far as the sound goes, I actually preferred the Bose. Uh, more detail and less colorful than the AirPod Max. Um, so I think I'm gonna keep the Bose and return the AirPod Max. Uh, also, uh, there's, there are no buttons here while I'm holding them to put them on. Uh, that's a big uh, win for me. If we look at the design, uh, in my opinion, this looks like something, you know, that Apple would have made. Whereas uh, this thing looks like something maybe Xiaomi would have made by trying to copy Apple. Uh, I don't know. And the case, right? What is this? This is not a case. And uh, every time I'm trying to put them back in the case, this aluminum air cups, they're hitting each other. So uh, I expect them to have scratches very soon. Um, the other thing about the AirPods is they're pretty heavy compared to the Bose. Uh, the Bo this Bose is a little heavier compared to the, their, you know, QC line, but um, st still, you know, okay and uh, it doesn't feel heavy on my head. The AirPod Max does. And the clamping force of this headband uh, is just too much for me on the AirPod Max. The other thing I liked about this is the touch controls. They really work on the Bose, you know. This is on the right side of the right ear cup. Uh, very intuitive you, you swipe up for volume you know to increase the volume so down to decrease the volume swipe forward for the next track uh, and, and so on uh, the it they claim about 20 hours battery life but when fully charged the Bose is showing me that it's gonna last 18 hours and 34 minutes so while technically uh, within their advertised specs of up to 20 hours, uh, it's a little less compared to the AirPod Max, but uh, 18 hours is good enough, more than good enough. Let's see actually how much they weigh. The AirPod Max is 13.7 ounce. The Bose, 9.2 ounce. That's pretty substantial difference uh, to put on your head for hours. There are other things if I'm being a little picky, uh, USB-C versus lightning and the Bose case it's a pretty good case uh, also includes a place to uh, store the charging cable and the 3.5 millimeter cable which is actually included on the Bose for Apple, I believe you have to pay another $30 to get a cable to connect to, you know, your sound source. 
the only thing that I wish the Bose had that the AirPod Max has is when you take them off, it doesn't pause the music or uh, audio source, right? So it keeps on playing. And um, the headband cushion, right? Um, I prefer again the one on the Bose versus the AirPod Max. So uh, the AirPod Maxes are going back. Thanks for the Costco's 90 day return policy. The other thing I really like about it is the Bose Music app, which uh, some people have complained about, but uh, so far it seems to work. It shows you uh, the battery life in hours remaining, which is more useful than a, you know, uh, percentage, which can be ambiguous at times. Now uh, you can control the noise cancellation. Uh, they have a equalizer, uh, but, but I like the default settings. Uh, then uh, also the source, it has multi points. So, uh, you know, I have it connected to my phone and to my PC. So I'm primarily using it with my PC. But when a call comes in, it'll automatically switch to the phone and announce uh, who is calling, uh, which is really useful. Uh, so for my use case, uh, the Bose 700 wins.